Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. I'm Shane. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, at smthomas3. Also, go to codekarate.com, sign up for the newsletter. You can also find me on Google Plus if you're on Google Plus as well. Today we're on episode number 62, and we're going to be going over a module that a lot of you have probably heard of, but if not, it's a module that you may want to have heard of. And so after today, you will, of course, know how to use it. It's a very simple module. It's called Administration Menu. And what this allows you to do is it replaces the standard Drupal 7 ad admin menu that sits on the top, or the toolbar, with a slightly more helpful menu that has drop-downs and allows you to get to things much easier. So if you're coming from other CMS systems like WordPress or Joomla and you're just trying out, uh, well, especially WordPress, and you're just trying out Drupal, this may be a little more familiar and maybe more helpful when you're trying to tackle the Drupal learning curve. So I'm going to get started. I've already downloaded the module, but we're going to go ahead and enable it. I'm going to enable just the administration menu portion and click Save. And you'll notice so you might not see a change. Oh, there it goes. And you may have to clear the cache occasionally. Uh, it doesn't show up, you just clear the cache and it'll be there. But you'll notice it's showing up on top of the other toolbar. So we need that to go away. In order to get that to go away, you just come into Modules, find the Toolbar module, which is in Core, and you can just go ahead and uncheck it. And save it. So now that that is uninstalled, let's make sure that it did in fact get uninstalled. Okay. And we're going to clear the cache. That's one nice thing about the admin menu or the administration menu is you can clear the cache right from this top left corner icon. Just flush all the caches. Now you can see the toolbar, the standard Drupal 7 toolbar is gone. So now you have a, a much smaller menu, but you can see you have drop downs. So you want you can add content just by going over to content. You can easily get to the structure and see what's in there. You can basically do everything from without having to click and wait for the overlay. The overlay still works, which is nice. But you can of course get to a deeper level without having to click multiple times. So it can be very helpful, and as I said before, over here, uh, flushing the caches, running cron, getting to the updates, there's a thing in here to disable the developer modules, uh, and drupal.org, there's links to get to is the issue queue on modules that you have installed. So for instance, I have installed views, bulk operations, I can go to the views, bulk operations, issue queue quickly, so if you feel like you're having issues, you can easily get there. So it's a very helpful module, very simple, but it just works. You turn it on and it works out of the box. You might have to clear the cache, but everything else should be good after that. But if you do like the original a or Drupal admin toolbar, you like that design a little better than this, there is an administration menu toolbar style here that comes with admin menu. You can go ahead and install that and as you can see now you have the much more or it's much similar to the same style that the regular Drupal 7 toolbar comes with so there it is that's it for today extremely simple but an extremely effective module for more easily navigating your site especially if you like the idea of not having to click multiple times to get to things so go ahead and try it out if you haven't already, and go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. That's it for today. Thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal.